Hello 212 students. Today I'm going to show you guys how we can create a field once again but then populate the field based off of other columns we have in an attribute table rather than by creating one from scratch. So let's say for this North America layer I have that has all the states and provinces of US and Canada that I wanted a column that said the name of the province or state and then a comma and the country it belonged to. For example, for British Columbia, I want it to say, in one column, I want it to say British Columbia, Columbia, comma, space, Canada. I could create a field that says that information. I'll show you how. First, we need to add a field once again. So we're gonna add a field and we're gonna call the field state underscore country okay and since that is going to contain words it's going to be a data type text okay so let's click save and we're gonna then go back to here and you'll notice if we go to the far right that there it is but it's null once again so we want it to populate with by using these two columns. I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. So you're going to right click on the top of the column on the name and we're going to go to calculate field. So let's say I just typed something in here, right here, test. And I'm going to put that in quotes. Or excuse me, I'm going to put those in quote marks. So if I click run, you'll notice that every single one says test. So that's not exactly what I want. So what I can do is I can actually use the other columns that already exist to fill in that information. So there's a list of all the fields that already exist. If I click name, if I double click it, it will come up here at exclamation points. Watch what happens. Okay, so it takes whatever name it found or whatever it found in that column all the way over here and it put it into this column. So that's half of what we want. If we want to add more information to that, we just do a plus sign. Okay, since the format I want is the name of the state or province, comma, space, and then the name of the country, I can say this. So first, I want it to say a comma. So I put a quotation, then I put a comma, then I put a space, and I put another quote, okay? So now I'm gonna do another plus, and now I want it to look at what country it's in based off of another column, the admin column from over here. Now if I click run, now it's showing what I want it to show. It's showing the name of the province or state, comma, and the country it belongs to, Delaware, United States of America. Anyways, that's a way to populate the field using other columns and a little bit of, of what we want to put in the middle. If you're trying to calculate a number, let's say you're calculating uh, population density, you could also do this by taking the population Let's say there was a field that said was population. You could go pop, make sure the field actually exists. And then you can say divided by area, this one right here. And that will give you a population density if it was a different column. So anyways, that's how you can use the calculate field to fill columns with information you want them to be filled with.